Well, the bridge is one of the finals up in Sydney. I mean, this has become an institution. Now, not the first time there's been a final played uh, with the theme of the Battle of the Bridge, GWS and Sydney. We're all looking forward to it. We've all got bridge fever down here, and I know one man who's been gripped, absolutely gripped by Battle of the Bridge fever, and that is Ryan Fitzgerald. You're a peanut, Andy. You are an absolute <laughs> peanut because I thought that you were going to send me Battle of the Bridge. I thought maybe I might go to John Longmire's house or I might go to Spotless Stadium and watch the GWS boys train. But you have sent me Battle of the Bridge to the North Shore Bridge Club in Sydney. And I'm here with Ian and Tim. And let me just say that I am cleaning them up. Ace, stick that up, you clapper boys. Oh, Ian. No, but I am here to I am here to talk football. Can you tell me if Buddy's playing this week? Buddy who? Oh, see, no, no one knows anything about football here. But there is one man. He's got a bit of time up his sleeve at the moment because he's just had his sixth knee reconstruction. Can you please put your hands together for Alex Johnson from the Sydney Swans? How are you, AJ? You're not too bad. Mate, you've had six years. You've had a spare bit of time up your sleeve. What, what are your hobbies outside of footy? What have you been doing? I'll just go to the local bridge clubs around Sydney, spend a bit of time here on a Wednesday night playing bridge with the, with the guys here. Yeah, and picking up as well by the looks of it. Um, can we also talk about, you've just had the six neath Rico, uh, but that wasn't the worst thing about going into the hospital. I heard something else happen on the day. What was that? Yeah, I've, I've got used to going to hospital, I suppose, and having operations, but waking up next to Heath Shaw and sharing a room with him was, was a nightmare. Oh, the grub. You, you woke up next to the grub. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It wasn't great at all. Do you know that we've had nine knee reconstructions between us? That's, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, you go on about your three and, and complain about it and how it ended your career and stuff. You've, you've got a bit of a way to go. Yeah, a bit of a way to go. Well, yeah, stop complaining because poor old Pete over here, he's had 14 hip operations, the poor bastard. Have a look at him. Yeah, it, it looks like he fell off a bridge. Um, <laughs> can we, let's, let's talk about the game this week. The Swannies boys, they are seasoned veterans when it comes to finals. They'd have to be pretty confident against GWS this week. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think there was a bit of a dip in form there when we lost the Gold Coast and those, those teams. Um, but yeah, the last month has been really pleasing. I think they'll be pretty confident going into Saturday's game. And the big one, AJ, I know you get this question all the time, but we need to ask it. Are you going to continue playing the game? Yeah, I've had practice over the last six years, so yeah, I think I'll stick around for a few hours and, and play a few more games of bridge. Oh, well done. He's going he's gonna to stick ball. around. Oh, oh. What, what, hey, whoa, what, so, what, Mum, Shane Mumford, what are you doing here, Mummy? Oh, I've just taken out the main battle of the bridge this week, Fitzy. Yeah. Giant, giants represent. So who did you beat? Uh, Beryl, oh, Beryl over uh, here. Beryl, Beryl, uh, it, it, what did he do? He stole my sandwiches. He stole his sandwiches, that's it. It's an absolute mess here. Mum, mum, mummy, go home. Back to you guys in the studio. Well done, Fitzy. Well done, Fitzy.